This is Westbrook Subdivision, Hastings, Nebraska. We've had the Topcon millimeter GPS for all year since about March and been looking at different ways to do stringless paving and we thought we already had some of the components like the base station from Topcon already and we decided to try this route with the millimeter GPS on the paver. The millimeter GPS basically eliminates the need for a string line and survey stakes. All the Topcon equipment that we have is all compatible with each other. From the site work all the way to the paving then we're using the same basic system. I've got the 3DMC squared on the dozer. I've got 3DMC on a grader and now we've got the millimeter GPS on our trimmer and paver. We can come in and grade the project with machine control on the dozer and then trim it with the millimeter GPS and then pave it with the same system. Of course all, all of those systems are all compatible with the same base station and you set up one base and you can run as much equipment as you want to off of that one base you know as well as a rover too. So you're using the same uh, project model for the dirt work and the concrete work now. I don't have to wait for staking from the engineer things like that so it is faster and that should make us more efficient and hopefully lower costs of paving. The millimeter GPS on our paving equipment has really been working good. A small project like this, just a few blocks, I, overall, you know, it saves us several days. The millimeter GPS has, has made the work go more efficiently. You know, instead of setting a string line and pounding stakes, we're checking with rover and stuff. And I even, you know, mark rebar out, center line, things with the rover now. So it only takes one person to do that now instead of a whole crew. Some of the other benefits to the Topcon millimeter GPS is access to the road itself. As far as with concrete trucks or even if you're hauling dirt in to the site or even a, like a base, like a crushed concrete base we use sometimes. Where before we'd have to lower the string line to drive trucks in and out, you know, now we don't have that string line. In fact, I don't know of anyone else in Nebraska using this system on concrete paver. It's uh, been something you know, people talk about and everyone's interested in, in seeing how we do it and, and what the end result is. And I think engineers and, and our customers have been pretty impressed with the system. Subdivision developers, they, they notice the difference. But mainly probably it's been the, like the engineers and inspectors that are the most concerned about it when we begin, you know. And they want to see, you know, what kind of product it's going to make without a string line. Because that's all they've ever seen, most of them. Always have some reservations about paving without a string line, with no physical benchmarks or hubs to measure off of, or no sensor on the string line. How do you know it's paving what you want paved? As far as that, that hasn't really been an uh, issue at all because we have the Topcon rover to check it with, and so we check it with that same uh, laser right behind the paver, and it's worked just fine. I think the millimeter GPS makes the job more efficient. We can do the job easier, faster.